So, round four of the Teen Up Winter League, all to play for this 10 rounds. My idea in today's match, maggot, maggot and maggots. So I'm going to start off shallowish, three and a half foot deep on the waggler, couple of maggots, let's see what's there first. Well, that saved me a point. So not a massive fish, but it is a fish. So that's a point saved. If you get water leaked, you get an extra point in our league. So that's a relief straight away. Now, me and the lads, we come here each year, but we normally fish for the carp. This place is absolutely solid with carp. However, it's a silvers league this time. Carp only count for eight ounces. So I'm trying to learn like everybody else what kind of silver fish are in here and what's going to be the best way to catch them and the quickest way to get them out. So at the moment I'm just trying to find my way through it, decide if the fish is shallow or if they're on the deck and then I can figure out what is going to be the best method for that. So I've just caught another fish here, again not a massive fish, so that's telling me that there's not any real decent sized fish up in the water at least. Now I'm throwing out between 13 and 14 meters and that's because I've done a deck line at 13 meters. So all this bait I'm pumping across yeah. at that level, it means I've got some bait on the deck when I do decide to go on the deck on the Jimbo. same line. Now I'm fishing three number 10s down the line so it's roughly a number 10 per foot. So that's going to drop really slowly through the water. Hopefully the fish see those maggots going slowly through the water, snatch it and fish on. Lovely skin bob. <laughs> so that skimmer was far better than the other two roach that I've got and they are definitely the fish I would love to target. So if I can keep getting into those, that's definitely going to get me some great points. That's a great shot, you could just see the floor going down just after I fed those maggots and fish on. I really do love waggler fishing, if it's not something you do very often in the winter it can be absolutely lethal. Not just for silver fish but also great for dobbing, you know, carp. Just literally putting a few maggots on, throwing it about, be amazed at how many carp you can get just by doing that. So another decent sized silver fish, I'm quite happy with that kind of stamp, especially if I can get them out quickly on the waggler. So I've got Nick to my left, he's catching quite well on the deck, he's fishing about 30 meters, but he's getting carp. 
Now they only count for eight ounce, but as you can see, none of my roach have been eight ounce. So that tactic does seem to be the better one at the moment. Don't get me wrong, Nick is in the ball, along with Robbo to his left. That is the best area for fish, the bailiff said, so he is on those kind of fish. I haven't felt like there's been any kind of carp activity in my area. I've also got Callum to my right. He's fishing little bowls of ground bait and going over that with a soft pellet. He's catching about the same regularity as me, but also catching a similar size fish as me. So Nick and Robbo to the left getting the carp are definitely at a huge advantage compared to us two so far. In there. So better fish. Nice watch. So if you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a like. It really does make a difference to the video. And also if you've not pressed the subscribe button, please hit that too. It's completely free and I don't want you to miss any of my future videos. Thank you. So you've just seen there just how quickly you can get a bite on a waggler and that's why I picked this tactic first. When you're fishing for really small silver fish it can be really tedious on a 13 meter pole and I can reel them in and cast back out much quicker than you can hook a fish and get in and get back out with that fishing pole. So they were method in the madness, it's just is it really working? Now you have to give it a little bit, you have to, you know, let the swim just get into itself a little bit and try and figure it out. At the moment, yeah, I'm catching fish, but I don't really feel like it's getting me anywhere fast. So I do need to start making some changes. But that's another great size roach there. If you can get them at four ounces or above, that's all right. But I was starting to get a lot of little one ounce fish and that's just no good. Silver fish. I'm actually fishing for target fishing league, you know what I mean? It's a foul up perch, yeah. Yep. Not a carp, like you scumbag. In fact, it's a ruach. Solid with ruach. At one ounce. So what I have discovered with this winter league is that the carp have been a pretty good tactic Especially when you're figuring out that the places that we're going to, they are bigger than the silver fish that we're catching. So the anglers themselves will try and stay true to silver fish only as much as they can. But it is a match and they do count for 8 ounces. So if they can get them, 
they're definitely going to do that two to a pound now any match angler who does a lot of match fishing especially through the winter knows that there will be certain pegs that are just on carp and the rest of us just get to watch those two Robbo and Nikolai they are definitely on the carp and us lot are just there's not what we can do you have to accept that and do the best that you can do to try and beat everybody else in your section so it's about trying to get those bigger roach those four to six ounce ones and get them out as quick as I can so it's easier said than done when the little ones are getting there just as quick as they are at some point I did try putting on a third maggot or a fourth maggot but I didn't find that that were improving anything I was still getting tiny fish even on that many maggots so I just had to go with it and just try and get them out as quick as I could and hope that something bigger could get to you know the hook bait before the smaller fish did So that was a nice size roach to finish the rod off on. I decided that there was plenty of fish up shallow and it was time to get the pole out and see if I can get them out any quicker or try and get to the bigger roach. So usually with silver fish or any fish really, the bigger ones tend to be closer to the surface because they're going to get to the fish, you know, to the bait first. So my tactic was go a bit shallower, obviously I was three and a half feet deep on the waggler. This is a couple of feet deep now. I've gone on a float that takes three number tens. I've just spread that out so it drops slowly through the water. Keeps a nice balance when I'm striking as well, I don't have to strike too hard. You don't want to strike too hard anyway because you'll just get tangle after tangle. I can just lift it up, up the fish and see what's there, see if there is anything better there. Cause I'm I'm really falling behind with Nikolai and Robbo now and Callum is catching at just as good a rate as me so I need to try and improve the size of the silver fish that I'm catching so that's the reason I've switched to the pole otherwise I'd have happily kept on the waggler but I wanted to see if there were genuinely some oh, better fish me, shallower on the pole that I could get out These are the roaches that I need. It always amazes me I can throw a waggler out 14 metres in it every bite, yet you stick a pole out and you can miss three or four bites before you hit one. I mean, how do they do that? always blows my mind
Now the problem I was starting to get is that Mother Nature was doing her very best to be against me and Callum. Can you see these 9 million leaves in front of us? Well try laying a rig in when it's just a carpet of leaves. This is winter fishing, you accept it, but it doesn't make life easy. So I've decided to go on the deck so I'm not in and out as much and see if I can get something a bit bigger. So this is a 0.7 T-nut Chianti floor. I'm not messing about. I've got a bulk shot about a foot above the hook and two number 10s in between for a little slow drop in that last foot. I know I just want to go straight to the deck. I'm not going through the water. I've put loads of bait down with the waggler and we're fishing shallow. There must be some decent fish down there and I just want to get straight to them. We're turning up. I have to, I run the damn thing. 60. So to be fair, the stamper fish has slightly improved on the deck, I would probably say on average an ounce bigger, but it's bigger. So I'm happy with that. The three red maggots are definitely helping. I switched from whites to reds. You know, I've got a, a load of white maggots down. I always feed white maggots. So I wanted that red maggot bait to really stand out in the hope that the bigger fish would target that. He says as he's got the world's tiniest roach, but that's the method. These are little changes that can add a bit more into your net, and, and that's what really counts in the league. It's not just your points, but also your total weight at the end can have a big impact. So it's always about trying to get as much as you can, even if it's just a couple of extra ounces. By the end of the league, that extra ounces could be an extra 50 quid, an extra place up the table. So you've just got to keep pushing yourself. And the reason I picked silvers this time, because I run the league, is I wanted everyone to have plenty of bites and just the day go quicker, enjoy it. Even if you've got terrible weather like this, grey, dull, cold, raining. I'm getting a bite of chuck. I've had over 60 fish so far. I'm absolutely red hot. I've got no time to be cold because I'm in and out all the time. And to be fair to everybody, they're really enjoying it. The fight isn't quite as good as getting carp, don't get me wrong, but you're not bored at all. The day absolutely flies and we're all having a great time and, and that is truly all that matters. I just want to say a massive well done to the fishery owner Steve as well. Last time we fished here there's quite a few trees about 
Uh, the pegs probably needed a bit of work to be fair and we've come back nearly a year later it's completely transformed all the banks look amazing every single peg is brand new all the steps have had rubber put on them non-slippy rubber so if, if things fall on it it's not going to break not going to damage the poles and stuff like that really invested in it and I have to say the fishery when we walk around for the weighing looked absolutely amazing so I just want to say a big thank you to Steve and his family that have created this awesome fishery and, and improved on it again thank you so much we love coming here the lads really enjoy it here uh, I'm not sure if I'll have another silvers one here <laughs> um, maybe the car because it is absolutely solid with them it, it killed me not going for them um, but Either way, whether it's silvers or carp, it's clearly got plenty of fish in it. There's bites to be had. So, thank you, Steve. You've done a great job. Yeah. Make sure he puts another net in if he's going to over 50 pound. Oh, I've snagged a fish going out. <laughs> I foul up one. Can I feed my peg before it gets off? So somehow I've managed to catch a carp on a super short line when I throw my maggots in to put some, you know, a cad cup bait in as in some maggots in the cad cup. It's obviously took it and then as I've gone to ship out I've hooked it. So all I'm thinking is it's only worth 8 ounces but it'd be nice to get it out and it's nice to have something that pulls the elastic. So you actually get to see the elastic pretty well in this shot. So it's a double five pressed and slip. I've talked about it loads in my other it's videos. It's all. literally three pounds. Best yeah. elastic I've ever yeah, used in winter, by it's, far. It's it. My go-to for the any silver fish fishing. <laughs> you stubble it up, simply lovely. And it's dealing with this carp, no, no problem. So I'm only on a point ten bottom, which is three pound line. And this is only a five elastic. Because it's doubled, when it powers up, it's a ten. So you get to, you know, you get a double whammy from it. So I always feel confident, even if I hook a carp, I've had carp out of £14 on this elastic. I'm always confident that I can still get anything out on it. Really recommend it. So I did that chuffing thing. It's in mouth actually. He must have took it when it was... It was a... <laughs> £10.8 ounce that. Size it up. <laughs> Cheers for me, eight ounce ball. There we go. So, not quite in the mouth. Just under the chin, but I'll take it. Fish 100, 10 pound carp. Got a carp on drop. I've lowered it in right nice and it's took it. They're stealing them up way down, aren't they? That's what they're doing. Like they do at Swanlands. So I suspected that there was some carp there, so all I've done is I've laid the rigging really slowly so they can really view those maggots before they go down and you saw it in that shot, it didn't even get to the deck before they took it and wham bam, thank you ma'am, carp on.
Oh wait, it's one of them commons that's an F1. It's a common F1. So we actually allow F1s to count as silvers. So I'm trying to convince him it's not a carp and it's actually an F1. I oh, know. I've got 14 pound a carp. I'm not sure he's fallen for it though. Yep. Oh, yeah, lift and drop again. That's what I said, they're stealing it. They're not on deck, they're stealing it. So what I'm talking about there with Callum is lifting and dropping. A lot of anglers do it. It's not something I tend to do a lot of, but I felt it was right. So that's when you're just lifting it off the deck, a few inches, a feet, whatever, and you slowly lower it again, and then you wait. And often not very long, and then you get a bite. You're so the idea is, the fish have seen that bait, watched it down, come and investigate it. You get a big fish like this. 20 pound a carp for flipping it, a pound in it. And on the back of that, let's see exactly how it got on. He's done well. Well, he will do an half but people don't turn up for it. Look at that lot there, well done, mate. He's got five so pounds to start with. Well done. An eight trillion. There's 20 odd pounds. Ruwich. Twenty-five seven. So thirty pound and seven them. Well stuck at it. Yeah. So all the bites out of here. Look at this lot here, does I see you've had some fish. Ten pounds. Yeah, it's ten pounds, yeah. I'll adjust. Let's get a picture with you, Nige. Yep. Fifteen two. So that is fifteen ten. Everyone's had plenty of bites, aren't they? So is this other fish in it? Absolutely. Loads of them. They're just not yowled. Oh, no. So 15 pound three ounces. Oh that was close. Has he done him? No, Nigel's just done him by seven ounces. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> so, oh, so, 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 nice. So 15, 15 three for a nugget. Good job, we're not waiting next box. We'll have a ten pound in one and eight pound in another. No, you get disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You caught that edge, Will. Yep, yeah, down both edges, isn't it? That there. Four two. Every line that I went on this fucking yeah. got them. It would have been nice for everybody else, that wouldn't it? No wonder it's quiet. He'll have got it custom than that. You've got a big brain. Not this, brain coat. Yeah, all of us stuff, isn't it? End up with it. Right, Nick. Seven three. Lois is winning it up to now, isn't it? Him? No, you're winning it. You're winning it. Oh, yeah, but if I get my he'll get a section of winner. Depends what's in this one. Carp in there. Ten fourteen. Well oiled machine. Not oiled enough. <laughs> well oiled. That's because you've been using WD-40. It's no good. That's what I've well, got. Not lubricated enough. 
Eight, sixteen. Eight, eight, eight and a half, isn't it? No, it's nine and a half, isn't it? Nine, eighteen. Nine and a half. Twenty pound five. That's what hundred and fourteen fish looks like. A good weight there. You know. <laughs> I've tried hard. <laughs> They're tiny, aren't they? <laughs> We've all caught them round here, mate. Yeah. I've tried hard. 12.13. You having a picture? No, I'm all right, thanks. No, that's a goldfish. I might not have. I'll see it. So, two pound then. Well, I had eight carp, Hunter. Yeah. So it's four pounds. What do you say, eight carp? Yeah. Four pounds. Ten pounds three. So fourteen three. Look at this lot here. You might have beat me. That's, what's that, an ounce? That's three. That's yeah, never yeah. been three ounces. There is one deer. One, one, one deer. Nick, Nick, Nick. One deer. Yeah. Yeah. That's what? Three three ounce. Ounce. That's never been. How many ounces have you beaten me by? Scale that. 18.9. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So 19.9. <laughs> Don't take it away from me. Yeah. I told the pencil me in one point. And that's already got shortest section because half of them didn't turn up. Dave's won't match because he's got a proper instant. Go on, right, Dave. Did you have any carp, Dave? Just one. One. 14.6. <laughs> so 14.6. You've done us and all, Dave. So 14.8. 10, 14, 14, 14. Just done me, Dave. I don't like you anymore. Did I have? When I look yeah. down and put this fishing down the margin, it would have done edges, but it's kind of funny. Five pounds uh, thirty. So they get about seven pounds. Eight five. That last eight, that. And there we have it. Another round done. Massive well done to Danny. Three wins on the trot in the team at Winter League. I don't know if he's just drawing immaculately or maybe he is a real deal. Maybe he will take the title this year. But £30 and 7 ounces, great silver fishing weight. Well done, mate. Nikolai, super close, 29 13 for second. And here's your section winners, Robbo. He was next to Nikolai. Nikolai's done him. Lewis. He's had a load of carp to get to £17. Well done, mate. And here's the rest of the weights. Nick Smith, nearly all silvers. What a great weight that were. So I've ended up with £14 and 5 ounces. I didn't do great in my section. But I did as good as I could. And that is all that matters. Once again, big thank you to my international fans. The Netherlands, back on top where they belong. And also the ladies, 4.1%. Really happy with that. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to use any of the floats you see in any of my videos, go on to Facebook, like this page, I'll approve it. We post daily, £1.35 per float. Grab yourself a bargain. And that is it for another video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it. Always love fishing with the Teenooks. And until next time, Tight lines and city. Up.
dignity, Nooks. <laughs>